Okay, so I just finished editing the video you are about to watch in, in the hours, okay? The hours, the time I put into this, I really hope you do enjoy. If you want stuff like this in the future with, like, you guys interacting, like, I love the interaction. But if you would like something like this in the future, since this is the same, I slice that like button in advance. Also, want to apologize for all the people whose question didn't make it into the video. There were literally hundreds of people that sent me videos, so I hope you understand. Without further ado, my samurai, critics comments, let's get it in. Yeah, but I'm going it's coming. Look at this pancake booty. Oh gosh, it's I have a terrible fear about pancake booties. What is your worst fear? Well, my brother, I, I actually think we share the same worst fear. <laughs> Either that or deep sea monsters, which you guys already know how I feel about. Oh my god! Hey Corey, my name is Ellie and I'm from England. What is Kool Aid? Because in your last Corey X comments, you said something about Kool Aid, but I have no idea what it is. Bruh, 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 bruh. You don't know what Kool Aid is? Well, then I guess it's my job to show a sister what Kool Aid really is. fruit drink. What was the funniest and most horrifying jump scare you've ever been a part of? I've had so many jump scares on this channel. First one has to go to when I played PT. Oh, Damn, look at the roof! Second one, of course, goes to that freaking horror game Subnautica. <laughs> How's it going? Oh, it's time to hot tail it out of here! Ankle breaker no film and ah! And I think the the third nastiest, scariest, funniest jump scare I've ever been a part of was from uh, Power Drill Massacre. Sugar tunnel. I like sugar. Oh! What's that noise? Someone's chasing me! Hello, Corey. Would you rather know when you're going to die or how you're going to die? Dang, with a question like that, I thought that, hello, Corey, it was going to be like a fun question. If I knew when I was going to die, I would probably like live my entire life just like looking at the clock however if i knew how i was gonna die then every time i engaged in that activity like say i was i was gonna die by running every time i ran i'd be like is this it is this it but regardless of that fact i think i would want to know how i was gonna die would you rather have a million subscribers on youtube or a million dollars well i mean let's think about this from a business point of view for the short term a million dollars would yield a substantial revenue way more than a million subscribers but over time my friend give me them a million subscribers sucky hello Corey Kenshin hello. oh my god okay our question is I'm in a video I'm in a video don't they want to know what's the hardest part about being internet famous but I'm not internet famous Think about it too much, too much, too much, too much. There's no need. I'm not internet famous, but I would say one of the worst parts about it is getting so much, so many comments and so many emails that you can't answer them all anymore. Would you mind reacting to a beat that a Michigan Samurai brother made and send you? Michigan Samurai brother, let's get it. Yeah, it's uh the We Shop channel Corey Ketcher remix. Time to turn it. Hey! My brother, that beat was savage as free. 
Okay, Cheyenne can't talk, but basically, like a lot of other people, she asked, what advice would you give someone starting off on YouTube? Number one, be yourself. Number two, whatever category you want to be in of YouTube, whether it be gaming or fashion, vlogs or whatever, it really doesn't matter. Try and study it a little bit. Try and see like what works and what doesn't work for on different channels and things. Number three, which is probably most important, be consistent and make sure that you're interacting with your subscribers. Like, you know, like I'm doing with you guys in this video. I had you sent me the video. Subscribers want to feel like, you know it's as much as their channel as it is the content creator and I mean I do make the videos but the channel wouldn't be thriving and wouldn't be awesome without you guys interacting with your subscribers is probably the most important thing do you have to pay the medical bills for all the ankles you break because that sounds expensive well I do break a lot of ankles but expensive <laughs> I got two bucks here uh keep the change <laughs> Hundred percent Siberian Husky. Like those things look so awesome. And of course, you know, we would have to name it on the channel, you know. Can you dance to the We Are Young remix and you are a serious role model to me? We are young remix, let's get it. I know I even months ago. I know you're trying to forget. I know I even months ago. I know you're trying to forget. I know I gave it, 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 gave it. Hey Corey, my name is Mackenzie, and my question is, what is your favorite RPG horror you've ever played on your channel? Oh, out of like the 20 to 28, I don't know how many I've played on my channel. And Quartz Party, Owl Oni, Paranoid, Mermaid Swamp, Mermaid Late, I mean, uh, Mad Father, Eve. I really think it's either Owl Oni or Paranoid. Like those games, if you haven't seen my playthroughs of those, go watch them. Hey, yo, Cor hey, Corey, if you had a mixtape, what are we called, man? Brian would be called sucking your ankles, this guy, bro. <laughs> I think someone asked me this before, but I would live in the Evil Within, and I know, I know, Corey, you're gonna go in that game, you're gonna get chopped up, man. Just to be, like, fighting zombies alongside of, like, freaking Sebastian and Joseph and Kidman, I'd be like, yo, Joseph, watch out. Yo, 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 Kidman. Hey, what up, Corey? When was the last time you got a haircut? I haven't got a haircut in a long time. Uh, to be more specific, though, I cannot remember the last time I got a haircut. You know, I'm on this Afro game right now. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Corey. Do you like anime? Like anime? Um, yeah! Anime is just one of those things that will always have a special place in my heart. I mean, that Samurai Shampoo, Trigun, Gun Grave, Marmalade Boy, like, my stuff goes back. Roni Kenshin, of course, DBZ. Like, should I, con should I continue? Do you think that one day the Samurai could hang out with you, with you, with you? Alright, all right, uh, yeah, yeah. No, dude, I cannot wait for the first time I can have, like, some meetup with people. How do you know when your, like, camera cuts off because i see you play a lot and i love it when your camera cuts off and then you're all like oh my freaking camera cut off yeah about that so i use a canon t3i it is an amazing camera but when i record in 60 fps it can only record 12 minute chunks and I play a lot of longer games so of course it's inevitable that it happens but my camera will cut off are you freaking serious? No, I did that, but my, there's a little screen right there and it's like, camera or recording has stopped. And I'm like, oh crap, I gotta redo it. Are you going to record the new FNAF DLC on October 31st? You bet your sweet- Hey, Cory, it's me, Cake and Cookie. Are you gonna do any more series? like you did for the zombie apocalypse because that one was pretty fun oh yes if you don't know what she's referring to a uh, long time ago i did this series called help where i had like my subscribers send in a bunch of videos because it was like the end of the world and we were like basically just role playing but it was freaking fun help please please help cory i saw that you're still alive you love me so damn cory this is tony DeBeck. i'm still alive god here they come Corey, hordes of infected. I do plan on doing something like that in the future. I'm 36. Am I too old to be a samurai? Ah, my good sir, I am sorry you just missed the cutoff at 35. <laughs> if you got samurai blood running through your veins, it don't matter how old you are. I wonder who the oldest samurai is. Hey Corey, if you could choose another name for your channel, what would it be? I think it would be like that ankle breaker. That ankle breaker here and welcome. No, that don't work. Probably that ankle breaker. Corey, 
on a scale of 1 to 10, how good are you at basketball? Oh, so you fancy, huh? You, you just throw about in your bag and go. Let me just show you how good I am at basketball. Hey, yo, check me out, cuz. I mean, wait, let me do that again. Hashtag CoreyXCom. Hey! What's your favorite hobby? Video games. It has to be. It has to be. This is the foundation of my channel. But I mean, I guess editing videos will be number two. Samurai brother, Corey Genshin. How does it feel to be congratulated by Scott Cotton himself? It's, it's bittersweet, especially especially when he donated to our charity and like, I, I don't know, he's just an awesome dude all around. Do you have any FNAF theories? And if you do, what are they? Do I have any FNAF theories, you say? Well, um, there is this one theory that Freddy Fazbear is actually... Jim Carrey! No, I'll leave all the theories and stuff to like Razbowski and, and Pro Class Gamer and all of them. I, I just like to play the game. I like I like how the story unfolds while I'm playing and I like looking at my comment section and stuff. I think the game has a fantastic lore though. I, I really do. As you get bigger, which you inevitably will, if you'll ever have some sort of fan meetup. All right, all right, bro, let's have a fan meetup. Uh, your house, put your address in the description along with your social security, you know what I'm saying? Nah, dude, that fan meetup is coming. I, I just, I'll let you guys know when. Hey, Corey, my name's Sita. Should I change myself so that guys like me? Did y'all hear that? Sita asked, should she change herself? So other guys like her. Eggs, no. I mean, like, you want a guy to like you for being you so that whenever that guy is around, you don't have to put on a facade. Just be yourself, Sita. Trust me. Hey, Corey, if you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go? London. Oh, my gosh. I want to go to London so bad. What's up, Corey? Hold up that shirt, though. My name's Katie, and I was wondering if you could dance to Ready, Set, Go by Royal Taylor. Sure, my samurai sister. I can hear that you're calling me to be the hope. Hey Corey, do you play any online MOBA games? I don't, but I have a strong feeling that you do. You know, a lot of my friends are trying to get me to play like League of Legends and like Dota 2 and StarCraft. I'm just like, all I hear is... Watch the back, watch the back! Yeah, get him, get him, get him! Perhaps someday though. What's it like having over 100,000 subscribers? Having 100,000 subscribers is like having a big crush on a girl. And then with that girl having the first kiss with her on the beach at sunset for all eternity. <coughs> hey Corey, how many subscribers do you think you'll get in 2016? I really have no idea and it's super hard to plan these things out because like, I don't know, I could play a game and then get a million subscribers overnight, but I, I, I would hope a lot. Hi, my name's Ivy. What happened to your subscribers in a few years? I think she said what will happen to your subscribers in a few years. Hopefully they'll go up. How many languages can you speak other than your native language? That is English, you know. Oh, oh you foreign shots like I didn't know my own language was English, bro. What you, what you trying to do? JK. I know English and Japanese. I learned Spanish in high school. Forgot all of it. But I learned Japanese when I went to college uh, and I studied it for two years. Hi, hi. Boku wa nihongo ga sugoku jozo desu yo. We love Corey Kenshi. <laughs> Everything is possible and nothing is impossible. Doesn't it mean that it's possible for something to be impossible? Great question, my dear. However, what you said before is a fallacy because being impossible and being possible simultaneously, it just doesn't work. Do you like my look? <laughs> I like her laugh better. Would you be willing to test your samurai abilities? In a samurai battle? Oh, you fancy because you can unsheathe the katana. i show you some real skill. Okay, um, you are better than me, Samurai Sister. I am sorry. Do you like heavy metal? Heavy metal? My middle name is Heavy Metal. I like it as long as I can understand what they're saying. What is your favorite YouTuber? For a while, my favorite YouTuber was Yummy Mash. Hey, what's happening, everyone? This is Yummy Mash here. And, and then, like, because of him, I started, like, playing games on my channel. But now it's like a toss-up. Like, I, I just go around watching different people. Corey, greetings from Ireland. Hey, it's Adam Film Brother from Ireland! What is your very first horror film you've ever watched? I think one of my most favorite horror films was Resident Evil. Who would you save in a fire? Will Smith or Angelina Jolie? A favorite actor or probably one of the most beautiful women on the planet. 
<sighs> I think Will would understand. By the way, why are y'all standing in the dark? That was mad creepy. Are you gonna do video chats again? Video chatting on Amigo? Yes, I will be doing that again. If Scott makes any other games, will you be playing them? You know I gotta support Scott, bruh. Of course I'd play it. Would you rather have your afro that you have today? Or would you rather have your straight hair from when you were back in high school? I like my afro for now, for now. Uh, will I get bored of it and want to go back to my straight hair days? Who knows? Can you play some Gmod? We'll see, we'll see. If you had to get one tattoo, what would it be and where would you get it? I get a nice fat booty on my- no, I don't have any tattoos or plan on getting any, but I guess if I had to, if I had to get a tattoo, ah, what would I get? I guess probably my favorite scripture, but even then, like when I got old, it would start to sag and I wouldn't be able to read anymore. That's why I'm never getting a tattoo. Have you ever broke someone's ankles? Have I ever broke someone's ankles? Roll a clip. That dude ankles is still in the other room right now. <laughs> Hi Corey, I was just wondering if you could finish your Geometry Dash song from Cycles. You don't have to play the game, I was just wondering if you could finish the song that you sang while you were playing it. This is the best song in Geometry Dash, if you disagree then kindly put your head in the street. Oh you like that song that much? What's good? I mean that was the whole song, but I mean like I could write a song if you, you know. Hey Corey, how's it going? I'm Yub, I'm a huge... Huge fan of yours, and uh, I wanted to ask you something that's actually fairly serious, since you are my favorite YouTuber, you are my YouTube role model, man. I really love you, I love your content, I love your videos. I wanted to ask you something, I just, I just punched my microphone. As far as I know, you're the only other Christian YouTuber who does exactly the same thing I do, and I wanted to know, do you ever struggle with uh, how much focus and effort you put into YouTube and struggle with uh, that might not be something that God wants you to do. I love you, man. Keep up the good work. Samurai! Very, very good question. But I wanted to design video games, so I, I didn't know, like, if I was gonna be working. I wanted to work for Halo. Like, I wanted to work for 343 Industries, and I didn't know, like, even if I got my dream job, like, how would I be able to glorify God in my job? But then one day, I uploaded a video, and then another video, and then another video, and then a whole bunch more videos until uploading videos was my job. I found a way to glorify God in my job because I know without him, none of this will be possible. So do I think that I'm doing something that God wants me to do? Yes, and I feel extremely comfortable doing this. I can't tell you how many people have said to me, Corey, your scriptures like really got me back on track or like I was just watching your video and I saw the scripture and I was like, what? A freaking Christian game? And that's exactly the reassurance that I needed. Thanks for the awesome question, my samurai brother. Yeah, no. Why don't you make fine videos? Video. You sound like you have a real problem with that. So let's fix that problem. Follow me on Vine. But I made a Vine account, and I guess if I get, I don't know, maybe thousand followers, I I'll start doing Vine. I know this was super long, but with that, we have finished all of the questions. For everybody that stuck around to the end, thank you so much. Like, this video took so much work. Like, just getting all of the freaking emails situated, all of the videos downloaded, imported it to the software arranging them how i wanted like it was so many hours that went into this and i'm so so sorry to everyone's question who didn't make it but there were literally hundreds and i was not expecting that many like when i was asking for questions i was like if i get two or three i won't be able to do it people were like okay fam like i said before if you want another version of Corey's comments like this sometime in the future go ahead and this is it right slice that like button follow me on twitter and comment down below for the next week's Corey's comment subscribe today to join a samurai and until next time my brothers and sisters <laughs> My name is Gary Kenton, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs>